by standing here today in this very public forum, I'm basically outing my own child who has not come out to anyone but myself and a few of her peers. And I'm doing this with her full permission, of course. An emotional plea from one Catholic mother who believes raising the rainbow pride flag outside Catholic schools will help her child and others like them feel safe, included, and accepted. Emily Runyons was one of five delegations at the Halton Catholic District School Board meeting on April 20th, speaking to a motion that would allow for the pride flag to be flown outside of Catholic school buildings and pride posters in classrooms. In her presentation, Runyon says by not allowing a safe and inclusive space for all members of the LGBTQ community, like her daughter, would be a disgrace. But I want you to know that I work very, very hard to educate myself along with others on how to be an ally for the LGBTQ community. And I really want to make the world a more kinder and loving place for all LGBTQ people to live. The commitment that this motion outlines shows love and tolerance, and it's so important to families like mine. And by showing willingness to pass this motion to inform and educate and include LGBTQ people, we will set a tone that is often missing for our youth. Out of five delegations, Runyon's and two others were in favor of the motion, whereas the last two were against. Both presentations against allowing the pride flag argued that the pride flag is not in keeping with the Catholic teachings and may promote behavior that is deemed sinful in the eyes of the religion. Well, if it would meant only inclusiveness and, um, and acceptance, that would be fine, but it doesn't. It doesn't. And it's a cultural fact. When we look at the flag, it comes also um, to our mind all these um, um, things that the LGBTQ uh, community all over the world represents. Also the pride uh, um, marches that are immoral in many things um, that they show. Uh, that are quite like uh, uh, almost close to pornography, which is offensive to, to every Catholic, uh, the way it is presented. We cannot, as a church, support this kind of behaviors. After nearly three hours and not even getting past delegations on the agenda, the Halton Catholic District School Board had to defer the vote to the next board meeting scheduled for May 4th. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.